Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to another video. Today we're talking about how to install Sony apps on your Sony Alpha mirrorless camera. So it isn't that well advertised that there are first party Sony apps that you can install on Sony Alpha cameras, such as the Sony A5100, A6000, A6100, and all the other cameras going up from there. Some of these apps are a bit of a gimmick, skin softening filters, things like that kind of cosmetic changes that you can make to your shots, but some of them are quite handy. One of my personal favorites is the time-lapse app. Now for a full run through on how to use the time-lapse app in detail, check out this link here to another video I have made about that app. But in this video, we're gonna talk about how to install these apps in general. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. Now, many of these apps like the time-lapse app aren't free and do cost a little extra, which is a little bit frustrating as if you've already shelled out for a camera, you would kind of hope that these features would come for free, but at least they are available and are relatively low priced. So the first way you can get to this app store is on the camera itself. The first thing you'll need to make sure that you've got set up is that you've got your camera connected to your home Wi-Fi network. You can check whether your Wi-Fi is set up properly by going to wireless on the main menu and then access point settings. Once you've checked your Wi-Fi is all set up correctly, on the main menu, you just need to go to Applications, Application List, and then Play Memory Camera Apps. This will take a little while to load, but once you're in, you'll hear you'll see the full range of apps that are available. The menu is a little bit sluggish, but you should be able to find all the options like the time-lapse app in here. Now, to actually download and install these apps through the camera, you'll have to be signed in to a Sony account. Sony uses one type of logon for pretty much all of their services. So, for example, if you already have a PlayStation with an account set up, you can use that to log into the Play Memories App Store, or of course, you can make a new account. Though, I would recommend doing this on a desktop or on your phone, as it's pretty much impossible to set this up on the camera itself. Once you've set up that account, bear in mind that if you're planning on buying a paid for app, you'll have to set up some payment information on your account. But once you've done that, once you click through on the app, you should be prompted to log into the account on your camera. And if it all works well, that should be it. You've installed an app and you can go from there. And I hope that is your experience. Unfortunately for me, I find this approach pretty much never works. I'll input my login information on the camera and then the page will time out or I'll get stuck in a loop of going from the login page to the next page. It also might not help that I've got two-factor auth set up because it'll send me a code that then I have to input and then it loops me back around and it never lets me actually download and install the app, which is extremely frustrating if it's an app that you want to get hold of. But luckily there is a second way that you can install apps and that is by using a desktop computer. This is available on both Mac and PC. You just have to navigate to the web version of the Play Memories App Store. So to access the web version of the Play Memories App Store, just search for Play Memories App Store on Google Chrome. I say Chrome in particular because the web version of the App Store doesn't really operate very well in other browsers. Then at the top here, you'll need to sign in using your Sony account. Then once you signed in, you can go to connect a camera here. And it'll say the Play Memories Camera Store downloader will need to be installed. So you can pick that up. Then press reload and continue. So here, this is when you will now connect your camera to your computer. So I'm going to connect. So I've now just connected my Sony A6000 and we'll press verify connection. Now you can see here that the camera is connected. So then you can select the app that you want to install, in this case, the time-lapse app. If it's a paid for app, you'll have to make sure that you've got your payment information set up on your Sony account. But once you have, you can just press the install button and then it will start downloading the app to the camera and then install it. installation successful and there you go so the app should now be installed so you can disconnect your camera and check that the app has in fact been installed on the camera so there we have it that's two ways to install apps on your sony mirrorless camera as i said before some of the apps aren't that great but the time lapse one in particular i find very handy and i use all the time i'll even throw in a few examples here now i think it looks 
really good. And for $7.99 UK, I think it is, and I think $9.99 in the US. Yes, it's not free, but I find it a really great feature and you can make some pretty good looking shots using it. So do you have any apps installed on your Sony camera, either first party or even third party apps? I'd love to try some different ones. So let me know if you use any different ones. But if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. And you can check out my photography on Instagram at Aaron.Prescott. But that's it from me for now. Until next time, see ya.